Hi there, it's Karen here from Turquoise Treasures. Welcome back to working on our Lace and Ladies journal. So this is a bit of a bonus video because it's the middle of the week or it's Tuesday afternoon and the builders are not here. They've, there's a couple of days when they can't come because some of the things that they need um, haven't been delivered yet. So we're waiting for the worktops to be cut and we're waiting for doors to be ready to be collected. And there's just a few things that they're a bit stuck at the moment. They can't do anything further right now. So we've got a couple of quiet days. So I thought I'd jump in and carry on working on these little um, additions to the signatures that uh, I started in the last video. Um, I've done a little bit of work on them in between. Not a huge amount. done a bit of preparation and a little bit of finishing off. So this is how we left it. This one, I don't think I need to do anything more. Um, I still haven't added my little center for this flower which I will do but not until I've finished working on the on the rest of it so that I can actually have a flat surface to work on and I've done some prep work on that so I know what I'm going to do with the rest of these uh, pages so that's that one we'll, we'll start we'll, we will start with that one first but I'll just show you what else I've done off camera so this one if you remember at the end of the last video this was stuck in my punch <laughs> my circle punch after I tried to punch this out before it was properly dry. Um, so my husband managed to get that free for me. And then I came back in and I just finished this off with a with a little pretty pink doily and one of my lovely ladies and a little bit of um, some flowers and a bit of lace here just to finish that off. And I really love how that looks. So there's a bit more work to do on this one as well on the other side of the um, of these pockets. So I think my aim today will be really just to get these two finished. One other small thing I did, which is not really, <laughs> nothing very exciting really, but I did decide to do something extra with my cover of this um, this little ephemera booklet that this is one I made with Roxy's Weekly Challenge with all my ladies in. I thought I'd stick one on the front with a bit more lace. It just looked, thought it decided it looked a bit bare and I just kind of tucked a, this picture in and I thought, well, actually that looks quite nice. I think I might put that there. So that's what I've done. So I've just finished that off. So we, you know, we know exactly what's in this this um, ephemera holder now. Not that I really was in any doubt because it's different to all my others. Right. So I'll come back to this and finish that off. Um, and fortunately, my punch is not broken, so I can still use it, which is a relief. So this one, um, I wanted to do something in here. And I came across this piece from my, oh, actually, this is from the Myrtle Cottage, the, the only one of the kits I'm using that's got some ephemera, or that I've found any ephemera to go with it, is the Myrtle Cottage kit. And as this is all the lilacs from that kit, I thought I'd uh, try and do something with it. So I found this, it's like a, a door, really. Um, and it's just just a flat piece. Um, I'm just going to show you how it started off. I've got another one that I haven't finished cutting out in here. So it just comes like that. It's pretty much the same, just needs cutting out. But what I did was I cut round the door so that it opens and I stuck a little um, little picture of um, one of the ladies on, from one of the kits Top is I can't remember which kits did which ladies anymore. I, I need to remind myself. So this is one of them. This is, I can't remember, I'm so sorry. I will have to look them up. It's the, it's this set. So some of them are printed in sepia. I think it may be me that's changed them. Some of them are in sepia. And they come like this. And some of them I've got, got in black and white. I can't remember how they come. But it was like that, and I've just cut it down and put it in. She was another contender. I like her as well very much. But I'd already put a little bit of inking on her. I've just coloured her quite subtly with some of the lilac ink. And I also covered the back of the door with a bit of the paper from the kit, just to bring that in. And I've just inked around it. So I just want to finish that off today, make it look a little bit... Um, tie it in a bit more with the rest of the the theme I suppose. Um, so I have got a few other bits ready to go so I think I'll just crack on with that and see how it turns out. I'm, I'm not entirely sure how it's going to look in the end. 
I just thought it was a bit different. So I want something to open and close this. I've got a few bits here that I've cut out, ready to kind of finish this off. So let's see what we've got. Whether I use all of them, I don't know. So I did wonder, we've got these, they're like little labels that came in the, in the ephemeris part of the kit. And I wondered whether to cover the door with that, just cut off the extra bit so that it just looks like a door frame. And then we've got the lilac door, almost fits, but I don't think it matters having that little bit of wood effect at the bottom. So I think I'll start with that. Um, and we'll take it from there. Where's my scissors? Not those ones? Yeah, I'll use these ones. So I don't know how this is going to turn out. I just thought, I'm being a bit fanciful, but I thought I'd try something different. Just cut that down. And so if I put that there, I don't know if I need the bits. I'm going to have to cut them down that side, otherwise they'll catch as the door opens, won't they? So I have that piece, trim that down there. And we can just have it like that, I think, and it'll open. Right, so let's just ink it up a little bit. So I have inked all around this door frame. I did put a bit of lilac ink on it, but I, it's not really showing very much. I didn't want to overdo it. But um, I pulled out my, what's it called, milled lavender. It's very, very pale. It, it's quite hard to get it to actually show. But I thought some, some of the time the um, dusty conkle can come out a bit dark. I didn't really want it too in your face. Right, so I've got that there. So I might just glue that piece on. Let's start with that, shall we? and then see what we do next. I just wanted to decorate it a bit, make it look a little bit prettier. Right, I'm going to put that on here. Let's make sure it still opens, yes. What I don't want to do is glue it shut, do I? So I may have to just trim that down a little bit. Just wondering. Now you can see the white on the other side. I think what I might do... Um, one thing, I might just try and get some of this glue off. I've over glued. Maybe you can put a bit of washi tape got this bit of purple washi tape here that might just go along that edge Oop. so how are you guys all doing so it's, uh, it's quite strange here that it's so quiet we don't quite know what to do with ourselves <laughs> we're not used to we've had a couple of weeks when everything's been go 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 and now it's all it's like, ooh, what do we do with ourselves now? It's at the end of every day. It's always been exciting to see what they've achieved. Still, we have made some progress because part of the work that we're having done is getting the bathroom renovated as well as the kitchen. It adjoins the kitchen. Um, and so the guys who've been doing the kitchen have also been doing some prep work on the bathroom in that they've um, just done some of the, they've knocked down a big cupboard and they've redone the ceiling, um, plasterboarded the ceiling. You know, they've just done some general prep work on it, but what they don't do is fit bathrooms. So we managed to get a, a guy that we had talked to previously quite a while ago and got it and he came out yesterday and he's given us an updated quote and I think we're going to get him to do the bathroom which would be really good because it was beginning to concern me that we weren't doing anything about the bathroom and it looks like he might be able to start it pretty well 
straight after with the kitchen work's finished. If not, if they don't overlap, they may even overlap a little bit. Okay, so that's that. So yeah, I think we felt like we'd achieved something for getting him to come out and give us a bit of a get a, give us a new quote and you know because you could see the space now they've knocked this big cupboard that was in the way knocked that out you can see what space he's working with and he's fills us with confidence that he will do us a good job right I've got a few little fussy cuts here that, that go rather well with all the, the other colours because they're from also from the Myrtle Cottage kit and I wanted to try and see if I could use something like this as a closure for the door I can just, it's hard to know whether it will, it's not very bendy, whether it will go back in, that's my concern. I didn't want to make it too difficult to over, you know, to um, to open. Well, not, not to open so much as to close again. It's got to tuck behind this flower. I think that might work. So... Maybe I need to glue this down and decorate it around while it's in place. I'm just wondering whether I need a little something behind it. Um, got a bit of doily knocking around here that I cut off earlier. Would that, would that do anything for it? Not really, no. <laughs> Um, hum, hum, hum. What have I got? Got some bits of lace knocking around. Oops, where's that come from? Okay. So that's quite a pretty piece of lace. Maybe that will just. How would that look? That look quite nice. Another piece here. I'm just, just trying a couple of things to see if it would actually do any do anything for it. That no, not so much. Don't like that. Quite like this one though. I think that might just give us a little bit of extra colour or. And not extra colour, extra softness behind. It's not quite wide enough to go over the whole th behind the whole thing though. But that's okay. Just a shame we can't see the flower. Maybe if I pull it over a little bit. How about that. I'm just going to pause a moment because I got really hot, suddenly quite hot and I'm going to take my jumper off. Right, I think it will go with that bit of, pretty bit of lace there. Um, what do I need? I think I need some of this behind it. Doesn't want to come out now. Wipe the pin. Oops. Right. Is that wide enough? Not quite. And right. that's all stuck down and then we'll put our little window or door door into another world right there I want to pull this out a little bit more 
get more of the flower. That's a bit, a bit better. Okay, I'm not quite sure how I ended up with this on the, on the other side. It must have been a, a, a in the printing process. Sometimes things don't print properly. And you end up with a bit of a strange bit down one side. Let's perhaps pull two pieces through to, at the same time. And I think that's that's kind of why I started ended up decorating this because I actually had a bit of that on the back of the door. But I quite like how the doors turned out now. So let's put you there. Okay. Now the tricky part is what how do I get this to stay down. I did have a piece of paper to use as a tab but I'm not sure if that'll work because it's not going to keep it down is it? So I think I might just have to go with this little flower over the corner in the hope that it'll stay down but I can still tuck it in you can still see the little lady inside the door, behind the door. Okay, so I'm going to put that there. Oh, before I glue that down, I was going to put this, I was thinking of putting this along here. Maybe I should put that there. just thought that would look quite good. Yeah, maybe I need to do that first. Just wipe this glue off for a moment. I'm trying to figure out how best to put these bits together. Yep, this is all part of the kit and I just put a bit more lilac ink on it. I'm just going to put that along there. So it looks even more like a door. It is a door but for some reason it's on legs so maybe it looks like a... it's kind of being a wardrobe but I don't want it to look like a wardrobe. Um, like that, I think. So now it's kind of like a window, maybe. More of a window than a <laughs> wardrobe door. Right. And are we going to put any little pretty bits up here? I was thinking about putting a bit of washi along the side there. Have a look. This was a washi from, I think, let's pull that up a little bit, from my creative, or your creative studio. I'll just pop that along there. That can go there. Now we've got flowers growing up. I'll have to re-glue that bit. Now I'm going to be able to pull this one up as well. Yep. Okay, a bit more of this. quite as wide as this the piece on this side so I want to kind of get it in the middle. Right. Uh, it's been a bit of a case of gluing things down and then pulling them back up again, hasn't it, with this? Right. Let's put a little bit more glue on these little the bushes. Well, they're like a little urn of flowers really, aren't they? Okay, put that down. So it's coming along. Not entirely convinced it's completely straight, but it will be fine. Now let's try this bit again. A 
cut across that corner. And then I'd like the bird. Now I've got two birds, I'm not sure. They're facing the opposite directions. I'm just wondering whether to pop that one like that. Maybe you can have him sitting on the flower. I don't want his tail to catch as the door opens, do I? So he could be like that. Okay, we'll go with that. Just got to glue him only where he's actually attached to the door. So. Right. So it will pop open and then tuck behind the flower. All right, that's there. And I think the last little thing I might do is put on, whoops, put on some of this lilac lace along the edge to match. I did put some lilac colour actually, I've realised I haven't put this lace down very straight have I? It's too late now. So I'll put this one on as well and that might just disguise it a bit. That just gives it a little finishing touch. Let's make sure this bit isn't sticking up because that looks odd. Okie dokie. So that's just a bit of decoration. I mean, it is a pocket after all. So I just wanted it to look, look pretty. Okay. So on this page, I've taken some more papers from the kit. Oh, I know what I was going to do. I was going to put this on here as well. I just found this word floating around and I thought it went quite well. And I think I can put it down here. It just says wonderful. I think it was probably a die cut from a, a kit. That's very old, I imagine. Just thought to keep the word. There we are. Right, let's move on. So as I say, I've, I've cut out some papers from, again, from the same kit. I've just done a scallop edge trim across the top to match. I think I better ink around the edge of this Just use the dusty concord, I think. Right, and I'll glue this on. So this is this is on one side. This is one of the main kit pages but I thought I'd do this 
the other side that I used like more of a backing paper because then this could be written on this side. It could be a writing page. And I think it's quite nice to have a something a little less busy on some of the some of the pages. Bring it down a little bit, I think. Well, sorry, up a little bit. could do, so we've got the little bird here, although it's not going to be opposite each other is it, because they're going to be opposite sides of the signature, so I think I might just leave this piece well alone, I might put some, yes I think I will put some of the lace on here, just to finish this off. a little trim at the bottom there. Maybe I should do that first. bit of inking as well with this. Right, now I can do the bit of lace. It's even on the other side. Let's bring it out a little. That's it. Okay. Then we need to do this side. So I have another piece of this paper. This time we're going to use this side of it on here.
straight. And not going to peel up either. Okay. I just have to do a little trimming. So, yep, I need to just trim it along this edge. It. I think I've got that. And I managed to not nick the pocket, I think. Okay. Right, what do we want to put on here? I think we need to have one of our, another one of our lovely ladies, don't we? Right, let's have a look through. I'm thinking maybe one of these ladies would be nice on here. Some little roses that would up there that've got a hint of pink about them. So I'm going to tear her down a little bit. Try not to lose the roses. Something behind her, maybe. Hmm. And maybe I'll use some of these roses around rather than putting too much behind her. A little bit of lace would be nice, I think. Something fairly unobtrusive, like a bit of this. Something like that. And then some of these roses from the Myrtle Cottage kit right there. Yep. Okay, let's do that. Um, right.
think I might use a bit of Fabri-Tac just to glue her to the lace to make sure. Just put her on the slightest angle. No. Where's it going to open? It's going to open. So she's going to be facing that way a little bit. There we are. Isn't she beautiful? Right. And a couple of these on this side. See if I've got any more. I think there might have been one or two more in there. Oh, I've got a big one. I don't really want such a big one. Yep, a couple, two or three more of these. Big, smaller. Okay, let's have a look. That one. Oh, sorry about all the traffic noise. It's, I don't know. It's quieter, but it's not completely quiet. It's never completely quiet around here. bird actually. The other little bird. Could that be up there? Mm. No, he's going to be a bit lost there, isn't he? No, maybe not. Like that. Go there. Maybe two more would be better. Right, okay, so that's her done. I feel like she needs maybe a little word of some sort. Let's see what we've got. Uh, 
got any pretty how about choose joy this is by some words and phrases by the journal Bota. It's an unusual name, but then many of them are, aren't they? Choose joy. This is on um, label paper. This will be a challenge, won't it? See if we can get the, the backing off. So this is now ready to go into the signature. Oh, except we've got to put our little um, pearl in here, a little sparkly pearl, which I did have in front of me on the desk. And of course now it has disappeared. Oh, there it is. There it is. Some glue in the little divot in the centre. Hold that down for a moment. Okay, there we are. So yeah, I think that's really quite pretty. I may still come back and put a pocket here. I'm not sure at the moment. But as it'll be a page in the signatures, one of the signatures, it'll... Uh, but was it possible to add a pocket as we're going through adding that sort of thing? So that's one. Right, let's have a look at the other one we've been working on. Okay. So, this is done. Really like that. I think she's really pretty. I love these little pictures. I, I think these ones are from Female Beauties by Artie Mays. And there's there's a nice collection of those. I do like those. I can see where some of this um, little bit of napkin is not quite stuck down. So I'm just going to go along with my art glitter glue and just see if I can just tack that down. Okay. Now I don't know if I want something on the inside of the pocket at the moment. It could be a bit too much, can't it? Um, but I think what I would like to do is put something here on the inside of this one. So I just trimmed off this bit of doily. I shall trim that at the at the bottom once I've glued it in. And then I've got this really pretty lady here from, is this from Artie Mays? This could be Artie Mays, I'm not sure. I really need to write in this, um, do some labels in this ephemera book so I know what, which ladies are from which kit. So I'm going to use these scissors, which I've used for, what do I use it for? Cutting around this lady, it's a really pretty, um, gives it a really pretty edge, if you can see that. It's just a really pretty edge, so 
I'm going to cut down this edge and see if how that looks just doing that one side. I really like that. Because I thought I might make this into a little bit of a side tuck, a little pocket maybe. Have it going, something going under there. So that's the idea. So, I think what I'll do is I'll glue her to the doily first and then glue it down and try and leave it open at the side. I think that's the thing to do. little bit of lacy edge poking out a little bit. Okay. Now I will just glue around the edge of the doily. Do I need to ink any of this? I probably should ink it a little bit, shouldn't I? Okay, so I've just inked, inked all around just the edge of the doily and a little bit on the edge of the pocket. So I think I'll glue that there but only around that lacy bit. We might be able to tuck a little something in then, mightn't we? Okay, um, and I've got a little off-cut of lace from when I finished the cover on my ephemera book and I just thought, well actually, that would look really pretty just going down there. So I'm going to do that. Yep, just a little finishing touch. Be a shame to waste that pretty little bit with the butterflies on. No. Excuse me. <coughs> okay. Um. <coughs> what else? Is there anything else we can put on here? I think you've got a nice little side tuck there. All I've got to do really is trim this bit off. Because the we don't want to cover up any more of the doily, not the doily, the napkin, because it's so pretty. Okay, as you can see I did do the, the thumbnail, thumb notch, whatever you call it, um, up here, just did that before I started filming today, so it was completely dry and then it worked with it perfectly fine. So I was just a bit over eager with that one, I'll just have to bear that in mind, I don't want to jam my punch again. Just a little trimming needed here. Okay, so I think she looks really pretty there and that'll that'll do nicely. And then we've got on here we have got our pocket with the window so there's not a lot we can do on here I don't think other than add perhaps a nice piece of lace down the edge. You can certainly do that. I've got some nice laces along here. I might do it. <coughs> all my little narrow ones are quite good for edging along these smaller, smaller things. Okay. So I've got that. Should I do some both sides? Maybe I should. I might do some on the other side as well, just so that it, 
it looks uh, a bit fuller. Where's the end? So I'll put one on each side and then it will look really nice. To, the two pieces together will look good, I think. And I don't care. That's it. So I'll put a piece on this side as well. That's not a piece I want. Okay. Yep, and then the same on the other side. I don't think this one, this side needs any more because it's so pretty already. I love how that looks. Okay, match that up with the other lace, sort of, and then we'll just get the right pair of scissors. That's what we'll do and trim it. There we are. I think that will be fine. I don't know if I want to do anything else on here. I'm feeling like maybe a little corner pocket might look good on there. I wonder if there's anything in there this kit but I don't know if the colours will be quite right on here. Um I don't know if there are any pockety bits. But it wouldn't be hard to make a little corner pocket would it? I don't even know if there are any pockets in this myrtle cottage. You could use that as a pocket but it won't go on here. It'll go better in the other the other piece, so I'll get to that. I'll put add those sort of things in once the signatures have been sewn in. Right, so I think that's all we need to do for today. That's all I've got time to do today. Oh, I know what I was thinking of doing, but I think I've left it too late now. Ha! <laughs> I was going to put something behind here, but I've got I've got a little. I'm hoping I'll. I will remember to bring them out another time. I've got some feathers. I was thinking to put a little feather behind her because I love them. But that'll have to make an appearance on another another page or on a journal card or pocket or something. So, for now, these two pieces that are going to go as part of the signatures. So this is the paper bag. She's gorgeous. And this is the envelope. So they're ready to go into the signatures. And all I've got to do in the next video is get this one all decorated up. So trying to tone down the pink is going to be my aim. Not get rid of it, just tone it down a bit. So I'll see you then. Thank you for joining me today and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.